Wow, that was awesome. I can feel the energy in this room without any further ado. I'm going to bring out the cast of it right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's start with Jeremy Ray Terry. Would you like to introduce your friend? Um, a lot of y'all may know him. His name's Roscoe. Unfortunately, we don't have Wyatt here right now, but we are so thankful to have the three of you guys. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us here in Miami. I know, like, okay. we have to clap one more time. This is... Your fandom has been so absolutely incredible, and I got a chance to speak to a few of you a couple months ago during one of your first panels, but your movie is the number one horror film of all time, which is... Yeah, it's very yeah. surreal. It's, it's crazy. Has it even sunken in for you guys yet? No. No. It's just kind of crazy, you know, that you guys came out. You know, thanks Stephen King, you know, for giving us our roles. But um, yeah, it's just, we're just normal kids, and to be able to have you guys come out and support us is pretty crazy and pretty awesome. So thank you guys for doing that. And thank you guys. And as of a few days ago, you can now purchase the film on Blu-ray and DVD. So <laughs> have you guys gotten a chance to uh, sign any of the Blu-ray copies this weekend? Yeah, yes. somebody had like this really hard copy. Like it was like aluminum and it was really cool. I don't even have that. It was awesome. It's from Best Buy. Yeah. Cool. Shout out Best Buy. <laughs> so later today, after we're all said and done, we're going to go to Best Buy and we're going to get that copy. So since we don't have so much time, I'm going to just kind of throw it to the audience. Are you guys okay with that? Let's sure. Okay, we have a microphone that's right in the middle of the room. Now, <laughs> all right. <laughs> because. Because we only have about 45 minutes, here are the rules, guys. One question per person. And as, as much as we want to ask, no asking for personal photos or hugs. You guys can get those later at their booths. But let's jump right into this with um, our first victim. What's your name? Emily. And I was wondering if you guys have a favorite 80s movie. What do you say? <laughs> favorite 80s movie. Yes. That's a hard question. Very hard. The easy question. What is it? Well, I can name like ten, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, the Goonies is number one. Yeah. <laughs> Would it make you mad if I haven't seen the Goonies? Oh. Are you serious? The oh. Jeremy, you have homework. I know. I know. It's bad. It's really bad. Have you seen Stand by Me? <laughs> what is that? A movie? No. Yo, stand. Okay. God. Okay, wait. Have you seen like E.T. at least? Yeah, of okay. course. Okay. Of course. So, so we're covered. What about you, Chosen? Um, wait. What year did um Beverly Hills Cops come out? Was it '89 or did it hit out '90? '84. 84. So Beverly Hills Cops. Somebody oh, hit that right on the nose. She's Who like said '84. That? Oh, good love. for y'all. Well, Respect. I recommend The Lost Boys, so you should watch that. Yes, I love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. What about okay. the llama? Nothing? Okay. Nope. He's silent. What's your name? Hello, I'm Isabella, and uh, Hi, this is a question for Jeremy and Jaden. Um, how was it like kissing Sophia? <laughs> <laughs> Jaden? <laughs> hey, I was just about to say Jeremy. Well, she was unconscious while I kissed her, so she didn't really kiss back or anything. That wasn't very great. Uh, yeah, so Jane, you take it away. It was, um, it was, it was good. It's all right. It's all right. What about Lilia? Oh. 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 All right, next question. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Kayla. And I actually have one really quick question for Chosen and then for the rest of them. Awesome. Chosen, your question is, my question is for you is, they pranked you with the Nutella. Oh gosh, yeah. How did you feel in that moment? How would you feel? <laughs> That's the, um, it was crazy because um, when they did it, 
Like we, I agreed to it, so I couldn't get upset. <laughs> We were watching, what movie was that? It was some unique movie. And they said, whoever goes to sleep first gets pranked. And, you know, I'm like, look, I don't sleep. I just take long blinks. So, <laughs> but that night I slept and woke up and found a mysterious content in my ear. But I survived. So, yeah. And so my other question for all three of you, what movie would you want to be in? Any movie. <laughs> Stand By Me remake. Oh. Uh, I would love to be in the new Jumanji movie. I think that would be really Yes. Fun. I would love to work with Jack Black, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and he Kevin so Hart. Funny. And Karen Gillan. That's like dream cash <laughs> Um, I would like to do like a Muhammad Ali remake. I think that'd be really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Or Black Panther. Oh. Yeah. One of those two. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there could be a chance, because I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot in that line, so. Man, Marvel, hit me up. Yo! <laughs> Thank you. Susan. What's your name? Maria. Um, this is a question for everyone. When you first auditioned, like, um, who did you audition for? Like, was it actually who you got in the movie? Oh, like your roles? Uh, I first auditioned for Beverly. Um, <laughs> No, I actually just auditioned for Ben. They or for Ben. They all have crazy stories, but yeah, I just I auditioned for Ben first. I auditioned for Eddie, and I think I think uh, the director realized that I was m much taller than well than Jack, but Eddie has a character. So then I auditioned for Bill. Um, I auditioned for just Mike. Mike okay. Hanlon. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wait, don't leave him hanging. Don't leave him hanging. Don't. Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> thank you. That would have been so bad. What's your name? Hello, my name oh, is Sophia, my. and I have a question for all of you. Who in the movie do you think is most like themselves in real life? Wyatt and Wyatt yeah. and Stanley. Yes, Wyatt. Yes? I would say, oh gosh, sorry, that was not. I would say Wyatt or Jaden. Yeah. Yeah, because I think he's got, lead, like, Wyatt, I think, is a lot like his character. And Jaden, like, he has leadership qualities, you know? He's a cool dude. Yeah. Love you, man. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? Hi, Barrett. Um, I have a question for everyone. So, in the movie, how, like, all the losers have a fear, like Richie with the clowns, which one do you think had the scariest fear? Ooh, Wyatt oh. or Stanley? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think Beverly's. Yeah, I think Beverly's cool. fear was scariest. <laughs> the blood and the hair. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I think Bev's because like two with the blood and the hair, but then like everybody else had a home to go back to, if that makes sense. Versus Bev, like her home was actually her fear, so I think that made it even scarier. You know. Yeah. Was House poetic. wasn't a home. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name's Camila. <laughs> hey. Hello. It's all right, Camila. Take a deep breath. You got this. <laughs> oh. It's all right. It's okay. okay. Camila, too. <laughs> Talk. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> yes. And we all breathe together, guys. Okay, we I'm going to ask for her because she. <laughs> Are you what sure, Camila? You got it. What do you want okay. me to ask? She wants me to ask you guys how you guys relate to the characters. Awesome. Great question. <laughs> uh, I think I, when it comes down to it, I do anything for my friends. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my, my little brother's like super excited, so he called me. And I was me too. My brother called me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think the, the big way I relate to, my, to Ben is, is when it really comes down to it, I think I do anything for my friends. Yeah. Aww. Very true. <laughs> um, I think I think I relate with Mike with Mike in the sense of um, I think I'm very protective of like similar in his character. I think like I'm very protective of, like the people that I love, and um, doing anything for them, and then just trying to be like calm if that makes sense in the sense of like if like say somebody's a little you know excited like you know it's gonna be okay it's all right so just trying to be like a rock if possible, but sometimes I'm just a little pebble. <laughs> um, I agree. Um, 
for me, um, both Bill and I, we will do anything for our family and our friends. We'll always protect them. And um, also our ability to kind of be the, the normal one in this situation. <laughs> um, like when we're on set, I'm the chosen. Chosen and I are the ones to have to tell everyone to be quiet. <laughs> when they say rolling, everyone has to be quiet. And I guess Bill is the same, same way with the losers. So, uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. I love you all so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Hi. Aww. What's your name? Alexis. I know. <laughs> Alexis. Um, my question was, what, do you, what kind of films do you see yourself like from a few years from now? Like films like it or like films like... Uh, I don't know. I think... I'd love to be like, you know, anything that comes my way, I think. I think I would love to still do the horror thing because it's, it's fun to be able to like turn off afraid and then have fun and then being afraid and then having fun. It's like a roller coaster. So it's really fun. I think I'd love to do more horror movies. Yeah. Um, hey, um, I think I like to do like a lot of diversity of films, you know, like I wouldn't be against doing another horror film, but just just trying to stretch myself in every way possible, like everything. So. Stay tuned. Um, I love to do, um, well, I like to do things that can um, expand by acting, you know, and help that grow. So maybe comedies and dramas and um, thrillers and sci-fi movies. And so there's so many things that can help you, help me grow as a person and an actor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Kay Kayleen. My question is, what is your biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear is probably heights or being in small spaces. Yeah. Um, okay, my favorite fear is so irrational. Um, I'm scared of like being like melted. If I'm, like, you know like in Terminator, um, what's it called? Yeah. And yeah, Terminator number two. Thank you. <laughs> And like the terminator gets melted at the end, and it's just like like a so strong. I would be like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get melted. So yeah, I'd be very scared of getting melted. My fear is drowning, but yeah, you everyone you know this already. But it's for, when the a pool has a cover on it, and you fall into the pool, and you're wrapped, and the tarp wraps around you and you can't get out. It's terrifying. Thank you. What's your name? Hi, I'm Nicole, and my question is for all of you guys. When you guys saw Bill for the first time, like, what was, like, were they, like, your real reactions when you, like, first saw him in the full Pennywise costume? Yes, they were. Very much. <laughs> they were, it, and, well, because we had no idea what he looked like, mm -hmm. so it was a little bit of surprise, a little bit of fear, and... Um, and a little of, bit of confusion because we had already met Bill Skarsgård, but we had never seen Pennywise. So it was just odd seeing the same human not look human. <laughs> you know, it's strange. It's cool. Yeah, like I was like scared, but at the same time, I was super excited to just like see him. Like, go ahead and throw him in the take. I just want to see him. Um, so it was like I was like proud of the makeup crew, and it was like a bunch of different emotions running through my head. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, What's your name? My name is Stephanie. Um, how do your parents feel about all the curse words in the yeah. uh, movie? <laughs> what I curse didn't words? Curse. <laughs> um, I never curse, of course, mother. <laughs> never. <laughs> what are curse words? Um, I don't think. Oh, I didn't curse much. I said, I said one. I cursed once. Well, someone's Naughty. counting how many times you cursed in the movie. She All says right. two. Yeah, wow. Two. Everybody's saying two. Yeah. What's the say? No. No, no. Don't say it. Don't say it. No, no. 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 <laughs> no, no. Everybody, tell me. Keep it PG. Oh. Oh. I don't remember. We're gonna I've have only to seen the movie so like once. 
See, she remembered too. <laughs> Good question. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, Hi. I was wondering, is the V team ever going to come back? Yeah. I need answers now. Well, <laughs> answers. There is. So this is. There's a very, um, very covert. Yes. Top um, secret production. Something called M team. Oh. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Thank you. Which may or may not come out ever. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Thank you. I love yes, you guys. Love you too. Thank you. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Um, I have a spider game. What's your I, name? Louis, I have a question for all of you. Did you think it was going to get this famous or a little bit over? If, you, if, if I was back whenever we were filming it and you took a time machine and told me that it was going to be this big, I would have told you you were a liar. Yeah. Like, you crazy, man. And then it happened. So, yeah, I, I never thought it was going to be this big. Like, it was awesome. I think it's just, I said this to a lot of you guys who stopped by the booth. It's just crazy to me and I think to the rest of us that the movie blew up. But even more so than that is that you guys would actually spend your Saturday and Sunday and Friday with us, you know? Because like we're just regular guys. I remember when we were shooting and we had to do school in between takes. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. But you know, it's crazy for us that you actually like us enough to actually come out and want to talk to us. Like that's that's really sweet of y'all. So yeah. round of applause for yourself. Give it up for you guys. So thank you guys for that. That's that's really awesome. Thank you. Thank Good you. question. Adjusting the microphone. All right. What's your name? Hi, I'm Maddie. Um, if you were the director instead of the other director, is there anything you would have done differently with the movie? No. No. I think it was a good blend of everything, honest. Andy is just awesome. Andy's awesome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, only before their arms get tired, uh, they're, they've been holding up your names the entire time. I know. I figured you might it. as well shout, hey shout out these three ladies right here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, you can rest your arms now. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Alyssa. Um, my question's for Chosen. Hi. Hi. Good to see you again. <laughs> um, oh, shoot, I forgot it. I'm so, like, starstruck right It's now. all right. No, not um, at all. Deep how deep intense deep. was it to film the scene with Henry when you guys were fighting by the well? Oh, that was, okay, thanks. Um, that was a good question. Um, that was a late night shoot, and that was one of my favorite scenes, actually, because Nick... The first thing you learn about Nick is like when, especially when it comes to acting, he gives us 100. So like we talked before and we're like, like go for it, you know, really try to make it as real as possible. So it was, it was a really, really intense and fun scene to shoot, and I, I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. So yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got hurt. Hello, but it, it's all for the film. Okay. It's all for the art. Hi. <laughs> What's Hello. your name? Hey. My name's Silvana. And uh, my question is, what's the weirdest thing a fan has done for you? <laughs> hmm. Nothing's weird. It's all out of love, you know? So, like, like we appreciate it, honestly. I think, yeah. yeah it's unique. That's the word. It's very unique requests and, 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 and gifts. But I got a, pff, a gift. So, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. You guys are yeah. great. <laughs> well, it's yeah, wonderful thanks. to know that you guys have had all positive fan interactions. Yeah. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Hi, my name is Emily, and this question is for all of you. I know that um, Jack and Finn did a lot of improv in the movie. Did you guys do improv too? Um, mm, uh, not, well, no, not really. Um, it's mostly... Um, well, like around the script. Well, the the script is already written, and we have the direct. We have Andy, and um, so there's so many more. There's so many elements um, to to the movie that you saw, and so it wasn't just us. And so we didn't. We definitely didn't improv as much as um, a lot of people do, but no. Okay. It wasn't really, it wasn't, I don't think it was even like really, especially with him, his character wasn't as much as like with Jack and Finn, right? Their characters are fireballs, you know, they spit off a lot of jokes and a lot of crazy, crazy cool stuff. But with like him, like he has such trouble even speaking in the film. I think it would have been very, <laughs> hey guys, 
very different in film. It was just much improv, but he killed it. They killed it. They're so good. Thank you, guys. Love you. Thank you. What's your name? Madison. Um, besides acting, do you have any other hobbies? I've been really getting into piano recently. I love piano. I'm not the greatest. I'm not Shout out to amazing. piano. Shout out. But, you know, I, I love piano right now. Um, me? Um, well, I do a little music. Um, <laughs> um, a little music, and um, I love basketball and all sports. Shout out to the Patriots. Any Patriots? <laughs> the W last night. So, <laughs> yes. How about those Patriots. Eagles, though? <laughs> Sorry, Jaden, that didn't go. <laughs> Yay! Eagles? Eagles? Anyone? Okay. You, you got a couple. Yes, there we go. I'm a fan. Um, I skateboard. I like, to, I like to draw. I play the piano, too. Jam sesh. What happened? Nice. Yeah. Thank you, and I Thank like you. your beanie. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Gabrielle, and my question is for all of you. So since all of you are in high school, I was wondering if you guys have any advice for anyone who's going into high school. I'm homeschooled. <laughs> Me too. Hey, homeschool. <laughs> Study, right? Yeah, well, I graduated. I just graduated early this year. But I, if I did any, yeah. School is cool, guys. School is cool. But, um. I guess, like as my freshman year, I say just, just try to be yourself. You know, like it's it's cool to want to blend in, and it's only natural to want to, you know, be feel accepted from everyone. But if you are accepted by everyone, then that's something wrong because you're just trying to please everybody. So just try to figure out who you are and who you want to be, and then go on from there. And then you'll meet cool people who love you for who you are. So yeah, real friends. Thank you. What's your name? Hi, I'm Joelle, and I was wondering, what was the hardest scene for you to film emotionally, and when you got it done, did, you, did, you, did it help you grow as an actor? Mm -hmm. um, for me, the most emotional scene was killing Georgie. Um, and that definitely did help me grow as an actor, because um, it was also meaningful when I had this whole scene just with um, with Jackson, who played Georgie, and then I look back and then I see all my friends. So um, it definitely meant a lot and definitely helped me grow. Um, but yeah, emotional. I think the most emotional scene for me was right before the kissing scene with Beverly. Um, <laughs> when I'm like screaming like what happened to her and I had I had a bad throat that day and I had to scream before it takes to get into it and everything. Um, so that was like really, really good scene to film. And I think, yeah, that helped me grow as an actor and, and gave me more determination to get things done, whether you have a bad throat or not, whether, you know. He's a soldier. Um, I think the most emotional scene for me probably was the scene where we all recognize that Pennywise, Pennywise is real, and then we kind of all tell our fears, and I was telling about my parents. You know, I think that was the most emotional for Mike because that's kind of sculpted him into who he is. Thank you. What's your name? Hi, my name is Keely. So when you were shooting the movie, what was, like, did you guys get scared a lot? Scared. It was my first day of filming, and... <laughs> Uh, it was a really, really late shoot. It was like to 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. So it was like a really, really late shoot. My first day, and it was the library scene. This place was terrifying, guys. Like, this was like a weird church. Yeah, that was my first day. Uh, it was like a weird place, freaky place, crazy. Uh, so I think that was probably one of like the only things where I like, really actually got a little scared. Um... I think, well, the scariest thing for, well, when you're shooting the movie and you're in the scene, you know everything that's coming, so it's not too scary. But um, watching Bill get into character right before a scene 
it was pretty scary. He would start to walk around, he would get up and he would start laughing and talking to himself. <laughs> and then he, and then he, one time he just started screaming at us. That happened, that happened too, which was scary. And um, so yeah, that's, that's definitely scarier than the actual, actual scene. Um. Scariest scene. Okay, the scariest thing for me was um, actually we were all together. That scene where um, you know where the second time we go down into the basement and Pennywise crawls down the um, what, what is that called? Whale. The well, not whale. Well. <laughs> the um, whale. We, I mean, we had our flashlights and we were going down the steps and those steps are like those creepy steps that go, <laughs> you know. So um, every time I heard, oh, that was a good sound effect. <laughs> every time we heard that, I was like, man. I don't like it down here. It's just cobwebs and no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Hi, my name is Nikki. And who is your celebrity crush for all of you? <laughs> I got two. Oh. <laughs> Camille Cabello. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Gal Gadot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mine? <laughs> you know who mine is. Oprah. Man, <laughs> Oprah is just the love of my life. Her speech at the Golden Globes was just phenomenal. Yeah. I love Oprah, Wait. but she's taken right now. So Oprah for president? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's awesome. Um. Halle Berry. Yeah. Number one. And Jayla. Jayla. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Allison. Oh my gosh, okay. So, um, do you guys have any favorite Vine references? And if you do, can you recreate them? <laughs> yes! What Vine? I don't know what... Miss Keisha! Miss You want to do guys on cell phones to look at that, that piece? Where that kid is like... <laughs> you guys name one. Yeah. Okay. There's one Vine that I love, and it's whenever he's like walking around the steps, and he's like, you almost made me drop my croissant. <laughs> and anything with Rudy Mancuso in it, I'm down to watch it. Like, love Rudy Mancuso. Mm, my favorite one would have to be, I told this to someone yesterday, it was so bad. This guy, he was dressed in a Spider-Man costume, right? Oh. Right? You've seen this? He's at a little kid's party. Yes, I see you. Um, he had a little kid's party, and they're all like, yay, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And, and then he's like, I guess he felt bold that day. He tries to do a flip off the wall, lands flat on his face. This man does not move for 30 seconds, right? And the kids get real quiet, and then they start busting out laughing. And, I, and then the comment was like, kids can be cruel. Yeah. No, I don't um, watch Vines. Not really. I don't know. Not really. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Tweet him some vines later, guys. All right, here we go. What's your name? Okay, hi, I'm Kiara, and I wanted to ask if your favorite like genre movie is horror, or maybe like you're afraid of horror, and like maybe you audition for it as a risk, or like what kind of movies do you would usually really love? I am so out of horror. I get scared of everything. <laughs> Like so easily, and at the beginning of the of the shoot, I was like, I I'm not going to the premiere, guys. I'm just not. And they were like, but you have to. And I was like, no, I don't. I don't really have to. Uh, so I like I like comedies and, and action. Um, I like thrillers, sci-fi. Pretty much, I like a little bit of everything, honestly. I just like good movies. Yes. Thank you. I like. I like sci-fi books, so I like a lot of sci-fi movies. And, yeah, a little bit of everything. All right, thank you so much. How many? Indies. Hi. I'm What's Ra your name? I'm Marina, and I have a question for all of you guys. Um, what inspired you to start your acting career? Everybody's looking at me. Well, Tell us. Sorry. Um, what inspired me? Yeah. I actually didn't have the expectation to be an actor at all, actually. 
Uh, and then I actually got into the business with an agency and everything, and I think the one person who inspired me the most was either Jack Black or Kevin James. Yeah. Really quick, I was going to say, do you want to plug your YouTube channel? Yes. Sure. Yes. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Just Being Jeremy. Go check it out. Check it out, guys. Um, well, I started off doing music as a kid, and um, I think because like with music, your goal is to try to make people feel something when you sing. I was like, okay, well, acting is taking away the singing and just trying to make people feel something. And I love movies, so I was like, I like TV a lot, so why not try to get on it? <laughs> so um, yeah, so I just, I just something I loved, and my mom supported me, so shout out to my mom, wherever she is. Yes? <laughs> I was like, uh, I look a little different, but um, yeah, so. Yeah, so I just love TV and movies, and my mom supported me, so, yeah. Do you like musical theater, Chosen? Wait, I wish Sophia was here. Oh my gosh, she's even bigger, <laughs> she's a bigger fan than me, but yeah. Do you have a favorite musical that you'd like to be in? Yes, <sighs> Hamilton. I, I, I knew everybody going to say that. Like, I haven't even been able to go to the show. I'm so upset, but I heard everyone comes up to me, have you been to Hamilton? And I go, no. So, but I have to make it, but I heard it's fantastic, so I'm very enthused to see it. Um, my, uh, I'm from Philadelphia, so it, it's not, um, acting's not very common there, um, but I moved to L.A. with my mom, um, and she, and she definitely inspired me as well, just like, just like Chosen. We were both raised by single moms. We have awesome mothers. Yes, we do. And, <laughs> and so um, I, I told her maybe, maybe I should try it out. Um, and so she, she let me, and she took me to auditions like five times a week, constantly after. And you know, you know, <laughs> I it's, know. It's, it, it's crazy. Like, um, but I didn't, and I started with commercials. And I just had a manager. I didn't have an agent or anything. And eventually, I found my love in it when um, I, I did my first movie, uh, St. Vincent. <laughs> and that's when I, yeah, that's when I realized that I, I want to do this for the rest of my life. And thanks to my mom. Oh, my god! Wow. Shout Thank out you. to all the moms out there. Thank you. Hello. What's your name? Andrea. Um, I have two questions. One of them is for Jaden, and then the rest is for all of you. So, um, Jaden, was it difficult for you in the movie to do um, the stuttering? Um, well, at first for the audition, um, that's when I really developed it. Um, so I basically watched a bunch of YouTube videos, um, like different kids stuttering and how to stutter and um, <laughs> different types of stuttering. <laughs> um, and then, but basically, after I did that, and I found a balance between, like, a, a very drastic stutter and a, um, um, a very not even noticeable stutter, and I found a, a middle ground, and I, de I developed it um, every day um, before a scene or before the day started. I would just read my lines and find out where to place my stutter, and. I would figure out which words were best to stutter on and which syllables. Um, um, so basically, I did that every day. And, and killed it. And, and it's much easier. I'm lucky that I had to stutter because people like Jack and Finn and everyone else had to talk so fast. And like they were just constantly talking. But I had, you know, I had the privilege of messing up. <laughs> Okay, so my second question is, um, would you guys do another movie with the same cast? 100%. Yes, that'd be so cool. Of course. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I love you. Thank, thank you. All right, we still got to keep it to one question because we're running out of time here. What's your name? Isabella. Hi. Um, this is loud. Um, so social media has been talking about, like, a Losers Club spinoff show. Like, what are your thoughts on that? I think that would be pretty cool. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I 
think it would be really. It would be really cool. Real though? I, hmm? never, I didn't even know about that. I, I, I heard of somebody say it earlier, but I didn't know about that. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool, but the book readers would be so mad at us. <laughs> but, but how are social cool. media? Eh? Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Okay, my name is Logan, and I have two questions. Can we, I? We can ask one question, Logan. Okay. Did. This one's for all of you. Did Pennywise ever scare you offset? Jack. I have one, but it wasn't for me. It was actually for Jack. So it was Jack's birthday party. <laughs> he walks into his trailer. There's a bunch of red balloons. He's like, oh, this is so cool. Thank you guys so much. Little did he know, Pennywise was hiding in his closet. <laughs> so... Yeah, long story short, he, he, he peed himself, so. <laughs> and he, he didn't actually, he didn't actually. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you, man. Bye. <laughs> What's your name? Seth. Seth. Um, what would you do if you actually faced Pennywise in real life? I'd stand up to him, because if you're not afraid of him, he can't kill you, right? Yeah. Look, I'm going to be honest. If I saw Pennywise down there, I am going through that. <laughs> there is no standing up to it, no talking to it. If I'm in a horror film and I hear like the house say, get out, I'm gone. I'm, no questions asked. If I'm alone, I'm gonna run away, but if you're with your friends and you stick together. I'm chosen. Patriots are the best. Yes, thanks, that's awesome. Cool makeup. What's your name? Thank you. Hi, I'm Sam. Uh, good afternoon, dudes. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, I have a question that has been like bugging me for ages. Have you guys ever had any bad or like, uh, dare I say, terrible uh, filming days? There was one, and it wasn't it wasn't like horrible, but it was the one where I'm like climbing down the rope into the little hole to actually go into Pennywise's like layer. Um, and that hole was like really spiky, I guess. And I had to keep climbing down that rope every single take. And we were all like, all five of us, I think. It was like five of us in this little tiny hole. That was so really much spiky. fun. That day was fun. <laughs> it was like, it was kind of like, yeah. um, we got to what, climb rope. And do they do that anymore? And, like, I don't think so. Like where they make you climb rope in PE, that's not a thing anymore. But like, if you ever watched an SD Classified School Survival Guide, that's what it was like. So they had us. So I I didn't get to I didn't get the get to do it. I got to watch though. So from afar it looks fun, but I guess from a close is that a word? A close? <laughs> it wasn't. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have time for a few more questions. So what's your name? Jasmine. Um, if you guys were stuck on an island, what Disney character would you have with you? Disney. Oh. Hmm. Say Aladdin. <laughs> I was gonna say Maui, but never mind. <laughs> Wait, could Maui Disney, get us right? off the island? Is Dora yeah. Disney or Nickelodeon? <laughs> That's Nickelodeon, isn't it? What'd you say? That's Dora. Dora. That's Nick. Okay. Nick Jr. Can you do Nick too? Is that okay? You can do Nick. I'd rather have boots. You have like a map. <laughs> okay, let's just go with Dora. She's Nickelodeon, but Look. what's the difference? All right. The way to my heart is Spongebob. Yeah! Spongebob is the best guy to have with you, man, because he'll keep you motivated. He'll say, like, I'm ready. I'm like, I'm ready, too. Chosen, have you seen Spongebob the musical? Yeah. No, I have not, but I've heard of it. Oh, my gosh. The best movie ever is Spongebob movie, the original. You need to. Who's a goofy goober? Yeah. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> What about you, Jaden? Um, I don't know any Disney characters. I guess Maui. He could get me off the island. Yeah. But Maui can do anything but float. Oh. <laughs> so that's tough. that's cold. That's that's Flash a low blow. Thank you. Good question. That's a good question. What's your name? Dua. So my question is for all of you. If you were to star alongside any Stranger Things actor in a movie besides Finn, who would it be? I was going to say Finn, but you said besides Finn. Uh, David Harper. Yeah. Joe Keery. Yeah. 
That hair, man. <laughs> Joe Keery. Millie Bobby. That's right. <laughs> Millie Bobby is a beast. She's awesome. Okay. Thank you, guys. I love you all so much. Thank, Thank you. you. What's your name? My name is Lamise. I know it's complicated. I'm sorry. Lamise. Um, my question to you guys is, what do you think was the most important scene in the film? Like, if the scene wasn't in the film, it just, it wouldn't be the same movie. The final fight. The final fight? The final fight scene. Because yeah. if that wasn't in it, what would the movie be? Right? Um, yeah. Well, to piggyback off that, from what I heard, I have not seen it yet. On the Blu-ray, there's a deleted scene. Is this correct? There it is. With Georgie? Mm -hmm. the beginning. Now, wouldn't the entire movie be completely oh, yeah. different without... Yeah. Oh. It wouldn't be completely different, but it would just be a different feel, right? No, it'd be, it, the movie wouldn't happen if that scene was true. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, well, if you don't know what the scene is, right. Georgie runs and just takes the boat from Pennywise and runs off. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Pennywise. <laughs> so, you know, like the, the movie wouldn't be a thing. <laughs> the end. And that we put like a the end, actually, at the end. Yeah. Like an iMovie movie. Did that answer your question? Ish. Jaden, what do you think was the most important scene? Oh, I agree. The the fight the fight scene. Um, also, maybe when we meet, when we're all, when we all meet by in what is it called? The it's a little thing. This the the sewer thing. The pipe. When we meet Ben. When we meet Ben and then we meet Beverly at the pharmacy. That's an important scene. Yeah, that was a That's where our friendship grows. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you. All right, I apologize. We only have time for Stand about by. one or two more questions. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What's yes. your name? Uh, my name is Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Uh, I got a question. Uh, did you all guys uh, see the original uh, It movie before uh, it start, started? started shooting it and uh, you took like inspiration from like the performances there i didn't i have still not seen the miniseries i've seen bits and pieces don't worry don't 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 scream at me <laughs> have mercy um so yeah i've seen i've seen most of it but but not the whole thing no yeah i watched it like just to get like a little inspiration on mike hanlon's character and um i think it was i just think to have respect for what they did just so we could build on it because we have to pay respect to the original because without it, you know, we wouldn't have this film. So um, just for research and shout out Ben, ben Perkins for giving us our 80s boot camp. Yes, I, wa I watched it, um, watched the miniseries. Um, but yeah, we obviously, we didn't um, copy exactly what they did, but still to pay respect. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Um, hi, I'm Aitana, um, and I was wondering what were like your favorite memories with like the rest of the cast, like through filming. Can I just do you just give a memory. Can I just do like the whole filming process, like the whole thing? Does that count? Okay. No, no. She wants details. <laughs> the first sleepover. The first sleepover was when it all happened. It was just like, that's, this was the moment that we knew like this was going to be like the best three and a half months of our life. And it's true. So I think the first sleepover was like, so cool. I think my favorite memory was our first karaoke session, right? Ooh. Because Andy, our director, and Miss Barbara are like karaoke kings and queens, right? So we were up like at what, 1230 at a karaoke bar later than that. Too. And no, because we go to bed on time. We get eight hours. And, um, yeah, that was a fun night for me. I think we had a great time. I don't know how good we sounded, but we had a great time. My favorite, or my favorite memory is the first day. Not the first day of filming, but the first day we all met. When um, it was the, we had two weeks of, you know, preparing for the film. And we just... It was strange. It felt like we knew each other forever, and we were already close. And it was just—it was so—it's so weird. But I mean, it was fun. Oh, I heard some of those. Okay. All right, we have time for one final 
quick last question. This is yeah. the last question. I apologize. And I have their schedule, so I'll let you guys know when you can meet them. So one Thank final you so question. Much. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This is it. Last hi. question. What's oh, your name? Oh, God. Okay. Um, so, hi. My name is Amelia. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, so, um, of course, like, you see, like, all this attention that you guys are getting and, like, all the records that it has, like, blasted through and, like, all the carpets and the premieres and all of that and all the fans dying to meet you. What is the effect on that, like, from teenager to teenager, like, like on you guys? Like, is it ever, like, overwhelming and you just have to take a break or is it just, like, fun all the time? It's overwhelming, but I don't think I've ever had to take a break with it. I freaking love it. Like, it's so, it's so awesome. Um, it's awesome that all you guys want to meet us and... Like this, this place is packed, and it's just us three talking. Like it, it's so cool. Like, it's awesome, guys. Um, I think, like you said, it's it's, it's pretty awesome. I think it's it's hard to get overwhelmed because it's, we know it's all love, you know. And the fact that y'all, you guys came. I said y'all. I'm from. I was raised in Georgia, guys. Um, <laughs> nice to see y'all. And um, the fact that you guys would come out and spend your weekend with us is so awesome. You know, we're, we're just normal kids, you know, walk through hallways, did PE and all that stuff. And I've been talking for 16 years and I ain't never had this much of an audience. So that's, that's pretty awesome that you guys care that much to see us. So have a round of applause for yourself because that wouldn't be possible without y'all. It is, it's, um, it's kind of scary um, because yeah, like Chosen said, talking for 16 years, and it's the first time we have an audience, but we're still the same people, and we've always been the same person, but now there's people that, you know, want to come see us talk and care about the work we're doing, and it's kind of, it means a lot, and it makes you think, is this really happening? <laughs> it, I mean, but I'm glad that, um, I'm glad that it is happening, of course. And I feel really lucky to be a part of it. And happy I get to do it with them. And um, But it, it, it's all, it's just, it's fun. It's fun to be here, fun to travel to, um, to wherever and meet new people. And we're, yeah, I mean, I think it's an excellent note to end it on. Let's give them one more round of applause. Of course. <laughs>